Welcome to the Color Mixer project. In this project, a three-color LED is used to demonstrate color mixing by providing differing amounts of red, green, and blue lights. First, let's look at the challenge project for this chapter. Since the challenge is a simple extension of the project, we won't look at the project itself in detail. Here are the front panel and the block diagram of the VI. An enum switch controls a case statement that selects which lines on the digital control unit will be activated. Let's put lab view into the show execution mode. At first, the off selection outputs pattern zero, all lines off. Then the blue selection calls for pattern four, which turns on line three. Now the yellow selection activates lines one and two by calling for DCU pattern three, since yellow is a mixture of red and green. As we go through the other choices on the enum switch, you can see the VI call for different DCU patterns, which create pure and mixed colors. Finally, we return to the OFF command, extinguishing all lines. The extreme challenge is to modulate the intensity of the LED by turning it on and off rapidly and controlling the fraction of time it's on, also known as the duty cycle. First, let's look at the red LED by itself. Here's the front panel and block diagram of the Extreme Challenge VI. The DCU generates a pulse train whose duty cycle can be changed with the front panel slider. As we run the slider up, we see the intensity of the red LED increase. There are two extraneous video effects in this clip. The camera tries to keep the average illumination constant, so you will see the background darken as the duty cycle increases. Secondly, the flickering you see is a beat frequency between the speed of the DCU's pulse train and the sampling frequency of the video camera. Now let's take a look at what happens when we mix two colors. We turn on line three to constantly illuminate the blue LED. Using a variable pulse width control of the red LED, we gradually raise the red intensity, creating a mixture of red and blue called magenta. As we lower the red intensity, the color returns to blue. For more information, visit vernier.com.